20 cool retro styled motorcycles you can buy in India 2018. In the past few years, the retro motorcycle market has really grown. Manufacturers like Triumph and Ducati have brought their entire classic and retro ranges to India. Though their design may resemble a bygone era of motorcycling, retro-styled motorcycles are seemingly the new end thing. From the likes of European premium manufacturers to our very own Indian manufacturers, the Indian motorcycling market seems to be loaded with retro-styled machines. Packed with modern equipment like LED headlights, traction control, ABS, and adjustable suspension, they manage to stay with the times under the skin but exude a rather rugged and timeless appeal. So if you're feeling nostalgic, and in the mood to take a trip down memory lane, let's take a look at all the retro motorcycles you can buy in India, as of 2018. 1. Bajaj V15 Taking up most of its design and material from India's first aircraft carrier, the V-15 is named after it and certainly makes itself unique. It's quite a bold design given the segment it finds itself in and promises an ergonomic experience. Equipped with a 150cc motor that puts out 11.8 bhp of power and 13 newton meters of torque, the V-15 is an easy-going machine. Unlike the Vikrant, the V-15 weighs in at just 134 kilograms. The V-15 also gets a single disc in the front and drum brakes at the rear. Its eye-catchy design and homage aside, the Bajaj V-15 is currently the most affordable retro motorcycle on our list. 2. Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 When it comes to classic or retro-styled motorcycles, Royal Enfield is considered one of the biggest sellers in India. As of 2018, one of their most awaited range of motorcycles is the Interceptor 650 range. Generating a meaty 47 bhp of power, and a healthy 52 newton meters of torque, from Royal Enfield's first twin-cylinder engine. Coming made it to a six-speed gearbox, which seems to be another first for the manufacturer, Royal Enfield is really upping their game with the Interceptor. Being served in two distinctive retro flavors, the Interceptor will also be offered as a cafe racer with the Continental GT650. True fans have long awaited this machine, as it's expected to launch and by the end of this year. 4. Triumph Modern Classic Range Triumph's Modern Classic Range consists of seven motorcycles, each of which uses with retro styling, and stays true to the old-school design. Starting with the street twin that comes mated to a 900cc parallel twin engine. It puts out a good 54 bhp of power and 80 newton meters of torque, which is enough to propel this 225 kg motorcycle into triple digit speeds with ease. Moving up the lineup we see the same motor wrapped in a different flavor altogether, calling itself the Street Scrambler. The Scrambler weighs 19 kg lighter than the twin and looks ready to take on our Indian roads while exuding a rather rugged vibe. Coming to the original classic, the Bonneville T100. It gets the same motor as the former motorcycles while bringing a different character to the mix. Loaded with chrome and beautiful paintwork, the T100 is as retro as it gets. But if you seek to have a little more thrill while taking forward that same coach-like feel, the T120 is probably more up your alley. Coming mated to a 1200cc parallel twin engine that produces 78 bhp of power, and a heavy 105 newton meters of torque, it still manages to weigh 1 kilogram lighter than the street twin. If 2 is a crowd and you'd much rather experience it all by yourself, then the low-slung and exotic Bonneville Bobber is probably your pick. The Bobber doesn't fail to amaze with its flamboyant design and attention to detail. With the same 1200cc motor as the T120, the Bob receives a decrease of 2 bhp but an increase in 1 newton meter of torque. Next, in Triumph's modern classic lineup is the recently added Bonneville Speedmaster. Carrying over the same motor as the Bobber but bringing so much more in bulk, the Speedmaster is a machine that covers and conquer mile after mile without breaking a sweat. It is also the heaviest of Triumph's modern classic range, weighing in at the substantial 246 kilograms. 
All of these beautiful iterations of what used to be just one motorcycle is quite amazing. But what if you wanted the lightest yet fastest of this lineup? That's where the Triumph Truxton R comes in. Rated with the same 1200cc engine that's been tuned to a higher state. It produces an incredible 96 horsepower and 112 newton meters of torque while being the lightest of the lineup. Weighing up to just 203 kilograms, this is one retro motorcycle that can outrun some middleweight sports bikes. 5. Ducati Scrambler The Ducati Scrambler is not only the Italian manufacturer's entry-level offering but comes in six different iterations. Mainly differing in cosmetics from one and another, the Scrambler range comes mated to an 803cc L-twin motor. It produces a healthy 73 bhp of power and 68 newton meters of torque while weighing up at just 186 kilograms. The Scrambler range consists of the Icon, the Classic, the Full Throttle, the Mark 2.0, the Cafe Racer and last but not the least, the Desert Sled. The Desert Sled being the most distinctive of the six, with its increase in ground clearance and suspension travel. It's quite evident it's meant for a less urban environment and doesn't mind going places with no roads. Carrying a mix of both retro and modern design elements, the Ducati Scrambler doesn't fail to live up to the Ducati name. With the rather narrow yet eye-catchy design, this modern retro machine certainly has a lot going for it. Especially for entry-level Ducati buyers trying to get a piece of that sweet Italian pie. 6. Moto Guzzi Grissel 1200 Date Volts SE The Grissel 1200 Date Volts SE is really unique and beautiful looking machine. With its center of attention focused at its Quattro Valvo power plant, which is an 1151 cc V twin engine that produces a strong 108 bhp and 108 newton meters of torque. The sleek shape and agile handling assure this is a rather exciting retro machine. With its engine protruding from either side and lack of electronics, this is more retro than modern. Weighing in at 222 kilograms, the gristle is presented as a blend of ride, handling, and design. Most of this machine gets a rather acromatic treatment, from the swing arm, front forks and everything else in between. The twin spar frame wrapped around the teardrop tank looks intriguing and you simply cannot get enough of the attention to detail in this Italian beauty. 7. BMW R9 T This German brute comes in three iterations, starting with the R9 T Scrambler. It gets an 1170cc air-cooled, twin-cylinder boxer engine. It produces 107 bhp of power and a whopping 116 newton meters of torque. Weighing in at 220 kilograms the R9T Scambler is the rugged one of the three iterations. With the rather modular concept that invites you to customize and tinker with it, the R9T is simple yet sophisticated, in terms of design making sure its presence is always felt. With an alternate option for almost every aesthetic part, BMW makes sure the R9T feels as custom as possible. Keeping with the times are the advanced electronics on offer, one of them being heated grips, just to show how modern this modern retro really is. Taking inspiration from the 70s motorsport, the R9T racer is next in the lineup sharing the same platform and motor as the former motorcycle. The proportions are more elongated and come with a half-shell fairing. The low-slung handlebars that are positioned all the way in the front, the footrest is far set back, combined with a long wheelbase, aid at giving it a rather sporty seating position. Then comes the original R9T, the one that truly captivates your attention with its curvy design and smooth lines, this is quite the eye candy amongst the trio. Managing to get a bump of 3 bhp of power, the R9T looks and feels like a riot. Sharing the same customizable platform but only taking it further in terms of features, offering adjustable upside-down forks that can be adjusted for preload and compression to suit your preferred riding style. 8. Kawasaki Z900 RS Kawasaki recently launched the Z900 RS in India and no it isn't just restyled Z900. The frame, wheels, engine, gearing, transmission, exhaust, 
headlight, electronics, suspension, and brakes are few of the key places most of the changes have occurred differentiating this from the Z900. The Z900 RS gets traction control, front radial mounted calipers, LED headlights, delicately cast wheels, adjustable compression damping in the front forks and a new shape tank. This motorcycle is a really reworked iteration so to say. This, in turn, puts it on the opposite side of the spectrum, compared to its rather modern-looking supposed counterpart. Churning a healthy 108 bhp and 98 Nm of torque from its 948cc inline four-cylinder engine, making it really one of a kind. Weighing in at 215 kg, the Kawasaki Z900 RS is a wolf in a hound's clothing and certainly a force to be reckoned with.